Hello, this is Kristen. Today I want to give you a brief look into a day in the life of Identity Manager and show you a few of the new features that we've been working on. We'll focus today on four employees from a small investment firm in the Northeast called Ashley Limited. Each person here needs access to different information in the company, and Identity Manager gives them a simple way to get what they need without calling IT for help. Ashley has Identity Manager 402 installed, and we've just added two new enhancement packs. The first is the mobile app called NetIQ Approvals for Identity Manager, and the second is the new landing page and an enhanced user dashboard we call Project Aquamarine. Let's start with Ed. Ed is an editor at the firm, and he writes our quarterly client newsletter. He publishes the numbers each quarter, but he doesn't have open access to the financial results. Ed needs to request a role in order to get access to the financial numbers, but he's only allowed to see them for two weeks at the end of each quarter. To get access, Ed simply logs into the Identity Manager homepage. It can be fully customized to show what you want to emphasize for your organization. Ed here needs to request something new, so he simply selects Make a Request. This takes Ed to the new identity dashboard we're calling Aquamarine. Where the landing page is the home page for your entire organization, the dashboard is customized for each user to answer the questions of, I need something. Here, he has the ability to make a request. There are some featured requests, which are common things people might request in your organization. All of this can be customized to make it easier for people to find what they need. If they want something, they can have one-click access to that. The second portion of this screen focuses on tasks. The system needs something from me, and if I have an action item that I need to take, it would appear here under my tasks. The third section is what do I have? Here we focus on permissions. Permissions is a roll-up of the concept of roles, resources, provisioning, requests, or entitlements. Your typical user doesn't need to know whether they have a role or a resource. They just need to know what they end up with. The last section at the top is the history. And the history tells me when I've made a request, what's the status of that request, where is it in the process, and whether it's been approved or not. Here, Ed's looking for financials. He doesn't need to know whether he's looking for a role or a resource. He just types in financials, and he starts to see financial results end of the quarter. He's able to just select that, put in his reason, and then effective to the end of the month when he has to send out the newsletter. The next person we'll focus on is Betty. Betty is a currency trader. We can see under her permissions that she has the ability to trade US dollars and euros. Betty's just received a promotion and she needs to trade Japanese yen and Brazilian royales. So here she sees under the featured requests that the Japanese yen trader permission is here. She's able to select this do a quick request, and that permission request has gone through. In addition to the permission to trade yens, she needs physical access to the trading room. Here she can do a search. She sees the currency trader desk access. She can also, in the same request, ask for the permissions for the royales. And she's able to simply add one reason and request that. They show up on her history. Now she just needs to wait for approval. For approval, we turn to Mary. Mary is the manager of Ed, Betty, and Clark, who we'll talk about in a moment. Mary's always in meetings, and she's not often at her desk, but she does always have her phone with her. So Mary lives in the mobile app NetIQ Identity Approvals. Mary takes a look at her task list on the mobile app and in come the request from Ed and Betty. She can look at the details of the request and she sees all the same information she would see on the app. She hits approve. If she needs some more information, she has the ability to contact Betty and ask her questions. She can also select all of the requests at once. She can approve it with a single comment. Now if we look back at Betty's dashboard, we should be able to see down here that she now has the permissions for Brazilian Royals, Japanese Yen, and you can see the details of when this was granted and approved. 
Next, let's take a look at Clark. Where Ed and Betty are requesting things for themselves, Clark is actually requesting things for clients. He manages the new customer accounts, and when new customers come on board, he needs to give them the marketing information and documents on a shared drive in SharePoint. Clark just needs to know that they need access to SharePoint, so he does a quick search for marketing access in SharePoint. And what I've done on the back end here is create a custom provisioning request form, which will come up in a new screen and allow Clark simply to add the name of the customer that he puts in. So we'll create Colin Meyer, and we can see that Colin Meyer has been created. Within the request, we see that he's a new customer. She approves that and goes back to her meeting. Now we can actually log in as Colin and you can see that he now has access to SharePoint. So just to recap what we've done today, Ed now has access to the financial information so he can send out the newsletter and let everybody know how well we did this quarter. Betty now has the new currency she needs to expand her trading relationships with clients. Clark's clients were able to get what they needed by getting access to SharePoint. Mary was able to approve it all from her meetings without having to leave her desk. And I, as the IT manager, am able to focus on all of my other work because Identity Manager is here to let people get in, get what they need, and go back to work.